Cats already run our houses, so shouldn't they have their own kingdoms to rule? Here are some of the best cat cribs ever made. When this guy moved out of the city, he wanted to introduce his very indoor cats to the great outdoors. So he built them this epic catio. So they can get in touch with nature. And blow off steam. All in the safe, luxurious environment they're used to. And when they've had enough of nature, all they have to do is pop back in through the window. Francis's cat is a prince, so she built him and his brother a house fit for royalty. There's a lot of swing bridges um, because it's funny watching them use swing bridges. I was really inspired by the architecture of early European castles. I kind of intended that top part to be a single residency area, but they just cram in there together. Francis thinks this castle fits Prince Peach's personality to a T. He doesn't care about the masses. He's just like up there being like, yo, let them eat cake. I'm standing in the middle of the living room. This couple turned their living room into a cat super highway. We call this cat city. They have 18 cats, many with special needs. All big stretches and all either rescued or adopted from local shelters. So they decided to create a space where they could explore, relax, and just be cats. Even eat up there. On the wall, gizzy wizzy, do not fall. This lady had an old bookcase that she wasn't using, so she decided to turn it into a deluxe house for her cats. She designed it on her computer and used a special machine to match her drawings exactly. It has a scratching post and spots to relax. And the cats seem to approve. Hey Dodos, this is Mark. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a crazy cat crib, let us know in the comments.